In this video, we'll be discussing about the BA APAP pathway. The BA APAP stands for B cell activating factor, and this acts as a ligand. And for this ligand, we have a BA APAP receptors like TNFR SF13B or TACI, which stands for transmembrane activator CAML interactor. Second receptor is TNFR SF17 or BCMA which stands for B-cell maturation antigen. And third one is TNFR-SF13C or BAFFR. We see all the receptors are expressed mostly by mature B-cells, whereas the BAF is secreted by various cells, which includes APC, monocytes and dendritic cells. Furthermore, the BAF pathway regulates the B-cell survival, maturation and differentiation. It helps in hemostasis, and we also see it plays role in the expression of certain B-cell surface proteins, such as CD21 and CD35. Now let's get directly to the pathway. We see in the diagram we have a B-cell plasma membrane. It expresses BAF receptor or TACI shown in the diagram. And within the cell we have a nucleus which has DNA in it. Now to drive a pathway, some immune cells like APCs or dendritic cells secretes BAF protein. This BAF protein exists in trimer form, but it doesn't mediate signaling in trimer form only. But we see the most strong and potent BAF exists in 6-trimer form. The 6-trimer form of BAF exists like uh, we have 20 trimeric form of BAF which makes a 6-trimer. So before BAP binds with its receptor, we see first of all what's happening inside the cell. We see in the close proximity of receptor, we have a complex which is made up of TRAP3, TRAP2, CIAP and NIK protein. Here we can see the NIK is getting ubiquinated by this complex and is then degraded by the proteasomes. So this is happening without the signaling. Now when the BOP comes in and binds with the BOP receptor, it recruits the TRAP3 towards the receptor shown in the diagram. This allows the dissociation of trap 23 ciap nik complex. Now here the TRAP3 is ubiquinated and degraded. And from this event the NIK molecules accumulates in absence of TRAP3 molecules. The NIK then recruits the IKK alpha and phosphorylates it. Then we see this active IKK alpha recruits the NFKB2 P100 protein and phosphorylates it at serine residues. Now from here the E3 ubiquitin ligase ubiquinates the NFKB P100 molecules shown in the diagram. In the next step the ubiquinated P100 molecules is then cleaved by proteasomes into active P52 form. The P52 form of NFKB recruits the RELB and forms P52 RELB complex. And ultimately, this active heterodimer P52 RELB complex gets into the nucleus where it binds with the DNA to drive the transcription of genes related to B cell survival and maturation. So, this concludes the non canonical signaling of BAP receptors and BAP proteins. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.